Well, two serious truck accidents in as many days has put a spotlight on driver fatigue. Our Steve Sprasia spent the day talking with truckers about the issue and joins us now live from the belt line with what he learned. Steve. Well, we found out from talking to a lot of truckers that fatigue is a pretty big issue. They admit that. But we also found out there are a number of companies that are using some high technology to try and literally stop a truck in case the driver is too tired to drive on a road like this. Do you see guys who are pushing it, you know, maybe a little bit too hard, getting a little less sleep than they should? Um, yes, you see that quite a bit. On Monday, the state highway patrol said driver fatigue caused this wreck on Interstate 85 in Hillsborough when a truck loaded with bananas crashed. And they're looking at the possibility of driver fatigue in connection with this morning's accident on Interstate 95 in Smithfield. One driver that we spoke with says there's a simple way to avoid fatigue. If I'm tired or something, I call the dispatch and I pull over and take a nap. Uh, a load ain't worth somebody's life or my life. For years, drivers relied on paper logs to keep track of their hours on the road. Now, electronics can do that and can even stop a truck whose driver shouldn't be behind the wheel. Most of these trucks now, they've got data recorders on them where they keep up with us and they shut us down. They shut us down. Can they shut you down automatically by satellite? Some of them can, yes. But no electronic system can make sure that a driver is ready to be behind that wheel in the first place. Well, if you're not getting your rest before you go on the road, yeah. you know, you can go out there for tape and you'll have a lot of problems. Now, just how bad is the problem? Well, according to the U.S. Department of Transportation, a study that it conducted indicates that 41% of all truck-related crashes in the United States are caused by fatigued truck drivers. Reporting live, I'm Steve Sprazier, CBS, North Carolina.